controversy surrounding a group of Baltimore City teachers. Several are being forced to return home to their countries when their visas expire at the end of the month. Now this, after the group came to Baltimore years ago to fill highly needed teaching uh, areas. WJZ is live. Rick Ritter has more on the story that's raising eyebrows across the region. Rick? Denise, these teachers, most from the Philippines, some from Jamaica, they've been in Baltimore for the past 10 to 15 years. Just last week, they learned their fate, and now in a matter of days, they'll be gone. I think it's really criminal what they're doing to, to good people. Emotions are running high across Baltimore City. 25 public school teachers who called the inside of these doors home for more than a decade are being ripped away from their livelihoods. It's sad. It's, it's sad. It shouldn't be happening, especially for teachers who's here for our youth. The group of teachers, almost all from the Philippines, came to Baltimore years ago as part of a massive recruitment effort to fill high need teaching positions. Despite applying for an extension on their work visas, the district received notice from the federal administration that there won't be a decision in time. And they recently identified uh, these cases for audit without specific explanation. Teachers who've become leaders and helped shape student after student now forced to pack their bags. Their lives are here, their homes are here, their families and friends are here. President of the Teachers Union, there Marietta English. There are science teachers, special education teachers, uh, math teachers, they're high need. And the news need. leaves some parents outraged. It's people that uh, the children have built relationships and bonds with. Even longtime citizens of Baltimore no, so are beside yeah. themselves. And there's no reason except perhaps we don't like people from the Philippines, which is ridiculous. A devastating blow that's heightened anxiety. More than 200 foreign teachers remain in Baltimore public schools and are now left wondering what could come next. They've done no harm except to be born in the wrong place. Denise, some good news. I'm told when and if these teachers return, an agreement has already been signed. They will return to the same exact positions with the same exact pay. Back to you. Hopefully it'll happen. Thank you, Rick. School districts in Dallas, Houston, and Los Angeles have also used the work visa program for teachers. Some have been critical of it, including President Trump.